Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. Today, I'm going to talk about the 20 series cards, not the high-end already released stuff. No, I'm going to talk about the low-end cards, the 20, 50, 2060, 2050 Ti, if we get one of those. Kind of those cards down at the lower end. And obviously, I'm going to talk about them today because of a very special reason. In the past, NVIDIA has, of course, when the 20 series cards were about to come out, you didn't notice, but the stock of the 10 ATI cards disappeared. There was no more, which basically means that that was timed at the certain point when the 10 ATIs ran out of stock so that they could actually have a good, decent amount of price increase and actually get more profit, which I'll explain a little bit more later. But basically what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about the whole summary of graphics cards at the moment. I'm going to talk about why you should definitely buy a 10 series graphics card if you can, like a 1060 or something along those lines now, and why really this is just going to be an overall video showing uh, I guess what's going on right now in a good summary. So I recommend it if you're really looking at getting a mid-range graphics card or now a lower range graphics card according to NVIDIA. So if you're unfamiliar with what's going on right now, uh, NVIDIA has been rolling out their new graphics cards. Now I want to talk, take a moment to also talk about a little something. So if you're, as I said, unfamiliar with what was going on um, back when the 10 series, we were switching over from the upper 10 series to the upper 20 series. Basically we saw the 1080s, uh, 1070s, uh, actually more it's 1080s and more 1080Ti's when they released the new graphics cards, um, shortly after they were released, the stock of all the old gen cards that actually competed quite nicely with the newer gen cards disappeared. So meaning you really had to buy the nice gen or the newer gen cards that were much more expensive if you wanted to get the same level of performance, kind of forcing people to pay the higher version by adding ray tracing in there. Now I'll also take a moment to talk about like the performance and what we're expecting to see from these cards, especially in ray tracing performance, but it's really not going to be a big surprise that these cards are going to be a substantially, uh, probably compete around the same range uh, as their predecessors, and we'll probably also see the ray tracing kind of, especially since the upper end cards like the 28 or 2080 Ti had some okay ray tracing performance even with the newer driver, up, new, newest driver updates. It's really going to be interesting to see how that trickles down. I'll talk about that in a second. So my biggest concern for when you know people that are out there buying graphics cards right now, say you're out there and you want to get like a 2050 when it comes out, or maybe you want to get like a 1060 right now and you're thinking, oh, should I wait? Okay, if you're thinking about getting a 1060 right now, buy it now because I, I don't mean to be like, you know, forcing something, but I'm going to explain and then you can make your own judgments. So first off, the 20 series cards were kind of hold, held off a little bit until the stock kind of ran out of the older gen cards. Once the stock ran out, they were able to charge a lot more, um, especially since the 1070. Uh, compared to the 2070, obviously doesn't perform the same way. The 2070 kind of performs in between a 1070 and a 1080, I believe. So it kind of is a difference, but it's not really worth the three or the 200 to 150 dollar difference that we're seeing right now in the 20s or 1070s. So is it really worth that difference for a couple more FPS, like 10 FPS? And with the ray tracing, that's very difficult and not necessarily considered 60 FPS gaming level, it's more like 40 something FPS on some older Battlefield benchmarks, but still not really the main feature working with the best it could. So what I mean is, when we see these new cards, the ray tracing, especially if you look at like the upper cards, like the 2080 Ti, the 2080, and then the 2070, those cards all had decent ray tracing, but it wasn't to the same gaming standards, and questionably some people could argue that the 20 series, upper 20 series cards really, really did not have playable ray tracing. I know there's been some, you know, updates to the Battlefield, which is the only game we can test at the moment, um, but it's really questionable to see, is that really going to trickle down nicely? Because if you're only getting 40 FPS on a 2070, and you've gone from a substantial drop in FPS since the 2080 Ti, what are you really going to see in a ray tracing 2050? Are you going to see anything that's playable? Rather, are you just going to only be able to use the um, just regular without ray tracing or maybe the AI version? So I wanted to make today's video to talk about that because A, NVIDIA is going to definitely charge more. The performance of a 2050 is probably going to be between, probably actually at a 10, 1060 3 gigabyte. If you look at it, if you were just to do raw gaming performance, expected. And basically, there's the ray tracing is going to be difficult, um, and I would not recommend buying the card for ray tracing. That's what you're going to try to do. Simply, it's just going to be hard to play games at with getting the full potential of your card. So if you're going and you're like, oh, well, what about AMD's new cards? We've got some really nice stuff coming out. Uh, they've got a 30 series or 3000 series they're coming out with, like a three, I don't, actually, I don't remember the names, 3080, uh, 3060, uh, 3070, all these cards coming out. Should I wait for those? Well, 
honestly, if you look at this part of it right now, some of these rumors that are coming out uh, with the $300 price tag for something equivalent or is, um, performs the same as a 2070, uh, some of these rumors are actually really promising. And I mean, I'm not saying, I don't know, these cards are now at the moment, I can't guarantee that they're going to be this good or not. I'm just saying that right now, NVIDIA has definitely charged a lot more for the same level of performance as you would be getting from the old series. You would compare like a 1080 and a 10 uh, or 2070, and the prices now, especially with the inflation, the 2070 is a much better deal, but it originally came out all that a much higher MSRP. So if you look at it, it's just that NVIDIA right now has it pretty much raised the prices. And I have a feeling, even if you want to get ray tracing, AMD is going to come out with these new cards, hopefully, and they're going to be quite competitive. And so either way, the cards will come down. Now, I'm pretty sure NVIDIA right now is waiting for the cards or the supply of the lower uh, end cards, the 1050s, 1050 Ti's, 1060s, all to run out before it releases the next gen of the, 20, or the, the lower end 20 series cards. So basically, it, when the 20 series cards come out, the lower end ones, if, if you haven't gotten the graphics card, I'd grab it. Otherwise, you're going to have a, a difficulty if you're going for a NVIDIA card. Um, these um, AMD rumors, they actually look extremely promising. And if you want something of the same caliber of ray tracing or same level of performance as the 20 series cards, obviously not ray tracing itself, but if you want something of that same performance caliber, and regardless, the 20 or the 10 series cards, anything between a 10, 1080 and a 1080 Ti are already pretty much possible to find and you don't want to pay that large sum of money to get like the 2080 ti or something that's really nice see what amd offers because that's kind of where the where they're trying to hit the uh, according to the rumors trying to hit their market and i think that that would be a good uh spot to wait as if you're going for a really low car like a 1050 1050 ti and you don't want to pay like an additional 150 dollars when these new cards come out and they perform about the same uh, especially for like a 1063 gigabyte, then I'd recommend going through and buying now. Uh, if you're waiting on something that's a little bit more of the mid-upper range, uh, I would not recommend buying ray tracing just yet. Hold out and see what we get from there. But I want to make this video to talk about you know, where that card is, why NVIDIA has held that card or held their cards um, so that, that they're not released yet, even though we have 2050s, um, 2060s, all those stuff still out, and why you know, when those run out, you, we're going to be seeing those new cards and they're going to be a slight bit more expensive, probably around maybe $100 to $150 more if we see anything from the upper 20 series cards that we saw compared to the 10 series cards. But um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I check out my video or my channel for other cool tech related things. I have a $30 budget PC that I'm working on at the moment. And then I've also got some Christmas stuff that I've done recently. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check it out. And uh, as always, goodbye.